Hey guys, it's Joe from American Trucks and today we're going to be taking a closer look at the Barricade HD rear bumper in texture black fitting all 15 and newer F-150s excluding the Raptor models. Now this is going to be a great option for you if you're looking for an off-road capable heavy duty rear bumper that is going to pack some awesome styling as well as a lot of features from the factory rear bumper while at the same time adding a few of its own. So what do we have going on here with the HD rear bumper? Well first things first. Let's talk about build quality, and this thing is made out of heavy-duty 532nd inch steel plate, and that is going to be able to take some abuse way better than the factory rear bumper would. It's sealed in that awesome two-stage durable black powder coat, which is not just there to add to the looks, albeit if you were going for the blackout look on your truck, this is going to be a great option for you. It even matches some of that factory plastic really, really nicely, but it's also going to serve as a nice layer of protection against corrosion. Now the HD is bringing to the table some great features that otherwise were not present on the factory rear bumper. One thing I really like about this one, these steps in the side here, they're going to provide a nice, easy and comfortable way to climb into the bed of your truck. If you plan on doing any work back there, that is definitely a great, great feature. You see that a lot on the newer Chevy Silverados, but it is nice to get that over here on the blue oval as well. The kit is also going to include a pair of these heavy duty three quarter inch D-rings as well as these built in D-ring mounts and that is going to be a great recovery point. Whether you're at the trail or on the work site, that is definitely a great piece of utility to have at the rear of your F-150. Now here is what really is going to set the HD over the top and separate it from some of the other aftermarket bumpers you might find out there on the website. And that is the amount of factory features that this is going to carry over. And we'll show you how to transfer all of these over from the factory rear bumper in just a second. We're talking about the trailer plug, the spare tire lock, the license plate lights, and most importantly to probably most of you guys out there, the two inch receiver that is going to be coming with us as well. No reason to lose that functionality and the HD is designed well enough to incorporate that, which is a really, really nice touch. Now, one thing I do sort of want to warn you guys about and one feature that will not transfer over from the factory rear bumper to the HD, that's gonna be proximity sensors. If your truck is optioned with those, the HD will not accommodate those. However, Barricade does make some bumpers out there that will. This one, however, will not. However, if you're in the situation like I am today, you're working with a truck that is not optioned with proximity sensors, this is gonna be a great option for you. Now, if you do like the look of the HD and you're gonna go with this bumper, one thing I would highly recommend is to sort of tie the look together by picking up a front bumper from Barricade as well. Now, as far as this rear bumper goes, let's talk a little bit about pricing. And the pricing is going to fall right around that $700 mark which puts it right in the middle ground, more toward the budget friendly side. Definitely not the most cost effective bumper on the website, but it's definitely gonna be more toward that end. You could pick up cheaper bumpers if you're just looking for D-rings, if you're just looking to accommodate the hitch, just looking to accommodate some of these factory features. However, to get one that combines it all together, the D-rings, the hitch, all those factory features on there, the steps, it's really a budget friendly price and a great return on investment. So let's get down to the good stuff. How are you gonna get this thing onto your F-150? I'm gonna give it an easy two out of three wrenches on our difficulty meter. This is going to bolt right up, no modifications required. However, we are going to have to take apart that factory rear bumper, and this thing is pretty heavy. So I'd recommend having a buddy on hand as well as a case of beer for him. If you bring the right tools, I think this will take you about two hours in the driveway. Again, using nothing but some hand tools. So without any further ado, let me show you what tools you'll need and how it's done. Tools we use for this install are going to include an impact or two, trim panel removal tool, 18 millimeter wrench, 13, 18, and 21 millimeter sockets, as well as a ratchet. So before we go ahead and remove this rear bumper, there are a few things we're going to have to disconnect and then scavenge to transfer over to our new bumper. First thing we're gonna take here is the spare tire lock. Put the key in, give it a turn. And that should pop right out just like so. We're also gonna have to disconnect the trailer plug and then pop that out. Same thing goes with these two license plate lights. That should be really easy. We're gonna crawl underneath of our bumper and get those out of the way. So the trailer plug, all we're gonna do is unplug it. There's a release tab on this side towards me. It's underneath my thumb. I'm just gonna push that down and work that right out. And then there's two release tabs, one on either side. 
Just push those in and that will fall out the front. And now the license plate light, pretty much gonna be the same idea. Counterclockwise twist on the bulb, put that aside. And then there's a release tab toward the front of the truck that you can push in and then that'll fall right out the front. We're gonna go ahead and do the same exact thing over here on this side as well. So everything's now disconnected. We're gonna go ahead and remove the bumper. It's held on by three 21 millimeter nuts on the end of each frame rail. We're gonna go ahead and get those out of the way then this should fall right off. One thing to note is we are gonna thread one back on just so this thing doesn't come toppling right off of our F-150. And then once we get a good grip on it, we can remove that nut that's finger tight and then remove the bumper. Now we can go ahead and pull off those two nuts and get this bumper out of here. So now that we have our factory rear bumper off of our F-150, now we can go ahead and pull in the barricade. We're gonna build this up a little bit. We're gonna start with the trailer plug here. That is just gonna pop right into place. And then our lights, which are gonna slide in the same way that they came out. And lastly, the spare lock, which is just gonna drop right in. And we can pull the key out to lock that in place. Now we are gonna have to transfer over basically the frame from that rear bumper. We're gonna show you how that's done in just a second. Before we do that though, while we have these two bumpers next to each other, it's definitely worth talking a little bit about the differences between these two rear bumpers and basically what is gonna make that barricade so much better than the factory stuff. Now the first and the biggest difference between these two, it's gonna come in the looks department. We're losing all of that plastic with that body color metal in exchange for some heavy duty 532nd inch steel sealed in that black powder coating which is gonna give you that off-roader aggressive look and it's gonna look way better on the rear of our blue EcoBoost F-150. The barricade is not all looks though. There are definitely some new features that this guy is bringing to the table as well as some old ones. You can see those steps on either side. You see that a lot in the newer generation of Silverado. That's a really convenient way to get into the bed of your truck. That provides a nice little step if you need to do any work in the bed of your truck. That is definitely great to have. On top of that, we do get a brand new recovery point with these D-ring mounts. And there are three quarter inch D-rings included in the kit. We're gonna install those a little bit later on. What's really gonna set the barricade over the edge though, how many factory features this is going to retain from that factory rear bumper? We just put a lot of them in. The rear plate lights, the trailer plug, the spare lock. There's two pre-drilled holes right here for a plate as well. That is a really nice touch. Now the biggest feature, it is going to retain that factory receiver. Again, we're gonna transfer that over in just a second here. Now there is one feature that you are losing and this is only going to apply to the F-150 owners out there whose trucks have this option. Rear proximity sensors. If you have those installed on your factory rear bumper, unfortunately, there are no holes in this barricade to accommodate transferring them over. So again, if your truck is optioned with that feature, you are effectively going to lose that. But if your F-150 is anything like ours, it doesn't have that optioned anyways, so no love lost. So now what we're gonna do is get that factory rear bumper up on the table. We're gonna steal the frame out of that, transfer it over to our barricade, and then we can hang this new rear bumper up on our F-150. To allow us access to all the hardware we need to remove to get this apart, we're gonna have to peel off this big plastic piece. I'm gonna use a trim panel removal tool. If you don't have one of these, a flathead screwdriver will work. So now we can go ahead and get rid of this plastic piece. Uh, that is a little bit of a pain to remove. Yours is probably a little bit dinged up. So we're gonna go ahead and take that to the dump a little bit later on. But with that out of the way, we have clear access to the two bolts we need to remove, 13 millimeters. We're gonna go ahead and get those out of the way and then we can start on the bolts back here.
Now that we have everything removed, we're just gonna drop our receiver on top of our barricade bumper, and then we're gonna bolt the two together using the 18 millimeter hardware included in the kit. Now our bumper is ready to go. All we have to do is get these studs to line up with our frame rails, and that's gonna go right back onto the truck with the factory 21 millimeter nuts. And to wrap things up here, we're just gonna plug everything back in. The license plate lights are going to get a clockwise turn. And don't forget about the trailer plug. Now, last but not least, our D-rings. And these do come with a few rubber isolators for not only the tongue of the D-ring, but the mount itself. Now guys, that is gonna do it for me. It's also gonna do it for the Barricade HD rear bumper in textured black, fitting all 15 and newer F-150s, excluding the Raptor models. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe for more like this one. Keep it right here at American Trucks for all things F-150.